Good afternoon and welcome to Micron Engine and Machine. My name is Mike Micron. Today we're going to put valve guides into this 1965 Plymouth 318 Polydome head. We're rebuilding these heads and actually we're rebuilding the complete engine and guides are pretty worn out so we're going to go ahead and replace both the exhaust and the intake guides and then we're also going to replace the exhaust seats to be compatible with no lead fuel. So the first thing we're going to do here, we've got our head leveled up already and we are going to we've already selected the correct pilot we're going to center up on his valve guide and we float the head of the machine for a six count and we center up on every guide what we're going to do is take this tool out and put in our drill reamer combination this is a core drill and it's got a reamer that's part of it these are sometimes called dreamers as a combination of drill and reamer and we're just going to go ahead and drill this out three just the same way. I like to center up on every guide and not use the pilot from the drill to do that. I like to use an actual pilot. Uh, I feel it's more accurate and it only takes a little bit longer. head, last exhaust guide. These are canted valve heads, which means the valves are not in a line. They give sort of a sort of a hemi look to the combustion chamber. It's called a polyspherical dome. On most heads we can just run through and do all eight guides at once. On these, the head is configured differently, so we have to do the exhaust, 
and put those in and then change the setup on the head and we can do the intakes. up our chips. I think we'll do that off camera. <laughs> <laughs> 